people who are blind or visually impaired can do anything. Sometimes we do things differently. Hi, I'm Rini and I'm here to talk about hashtag blind abilities. Blind Abilities was a day set aside, July 24th to be specific. I'm a little late, sorry. It's a day set aside to raise awareness for people with vision impairment and blindness. I was born with low vision, yet I lead a pretty normal life. I am married, I have children and grandchildren. I worked for many years as a medical transcriptionist and I'm retired now. In the evenings, I like to relax with an audio book or a podcast, a movie on TV while I crochet. I crochet with my fingers like most people do, but I rely on my fingers a little bit more because my fingers tell me how I'm creating each stitch and how my work is progressing. I have created many projects over the years, including blankets and clothing, hats, scarves, shawls, baby dresses, baby clothes, uh, and toys. When you crochet toys, it's called amigurumi. I have here an amigurumi toy. It's what I call grandma's balls. It's soft and squishy, washable, bouncy, and when the kids come to pl and play in the house, these balls aren't going to do any harm at all. This is a crochet, a sample, and this is using a chunky yarn. It's Bernat Chunky Yarn and a size J hook. Wrap the yarn around the hook into the next stitch. Pull the yarn through that next stitch, pull the yarn through two loops, pull the yarn through two loops again. There's one loop on the hook and the next double crochet has been completed. This is a sample. This is chunky yarn. It's easy for beginners. It's great for people with limited vision or no vision at all because the stitches are easy to feel with the bulky or chunky yarn. I would like to thank Matt from the YouTube channel Blind to Billionaire for creating the hashtag blind abilities tag. I also have a blog at legallyblind.home.blog. I hope to see you there. Bye.